Hello you, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to do something slightly different. It's going to be a voiceover tour because we had sound issues when we recorded this, but we still think this is a fantastic house. So let's start the tour. So welcome to Property Vlogs. Here we're going to tour this beautiful three bedroom house called the Davenham. It's by Morris Holmes and it's a modern family home as you can tell. It's, I love the way it looks on the outside. You can see it's red brick with a canopy above it. And then we're just going to just go through the specs which you can see on the right hand side. Further details are in the description but let's go straight into the house and start the tour. Hello you, welcome. Come inside and let's start the tour straight away. So let's do a first impressions tour. When you come in, you've got the front door in front of you, of, of course. You've got the glazed panel in the middle bringing in light. You've got your little peep hole as well for security. And you've got your hazard matting on the floor. I call it hazard matting, but it's actually called protective, protective matting. It's just a durable matting just to stop the rest of the beautiful floor being stained. The rest of the floor is actually a fantastic love tree vinyl tile I'm just pointing there they've staged it with some coat hooks on the wall but you're going to see in a second where you can store your coats properly first room is this downstairs toilet which you can see here it's very nice and simple <laughs> very nice and simple it's practical you've got your corner sink a chrome tile towel rail a sink and a window bringing in lots of light which is great so let's talk about the doors the doors are actually more of a traditional four paneled style and the paintwork on it is a high gloss in a white finish with chrome handles the staircase on the right hand side there while well, you're left and now here under the stairs is the official clerk area it also doubles up as like an area for like your bt your consumer unit etc so let's spin around and look at the rest of the house the front room here is this family lounge living area lovely lovely proportion and you can see there there's a really nice focal point focal point is a fireplace and uh, this may be an upgrade it's worth checking guys with the developer but that chimney breast and that fireplace is such a fantastic focal point but you know if you went with that option you'd have a tv to the side as it's kind of shown there you've got a window bringing in lots of light really really good and you know um, it's always good to have natural light flooding a space and then I'm just talking here about the layout of the room and how you could spin the furniture around if you didn't have the chimney breast there in your option um, so yeah it can fit an armchair over there an armchair behind me lots of furniture can be accommodated in this space I think overall it's a well proportioned room and here I'm just talking about the layout options that you can have next room on the ground floor is the open plan dining kitchen snug area really and you can just see there the images of the kitchen and you can see I'm stood by the by folding doors and looking over the garden it's a really nice size but again this is a show home there would be a dividing fence on the right of the property where the property line ends so please 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 just bear that in mind the gardens don't extend for acres and acres they stop where your property stops and the show home just, just to give you an idea of kind of the type of garden you could have looking at the rest of the property here we've got a booth and we've got really nice staging i like the way they've done the shelving at the top end and the way that the booth is l-shaped it really does maximize the amount of seating available and then it cradles the table in the middle which is practical i think it's very practical and it's a really good option for a growing family and it's nice to look at isn't it very very nice <laughs> really really love how they've done that okay now let's talk about the kitchen so this space is a really nice proportion again it's rectangular we've got a kind of a caddy there on wheels there a wheelable trolley um, but I feel as though they could have continued the kitchen all the way around um, but yes looking at this option we've got a nice size kitchen and um, I'm gonna go through the kitchen now so starting on the left we've got a fridge freezer and you've got the handles are like what's known as a J pull they're a J shape um, it's cutting the grooves into the doors so that you actually don't need to have handles stuck on the face of the uh, doors. If you've got a fridge freezer in a 70-30 arrangement, the, uh, the make of the fridge freezer is Neff. 
dot double oven with storage above and below and then we've got j pole high gloss cabinets up uh, wall mounted as well all the way through you can see there and they're all on soft closers which is great you've got the lighting underneath and then the worktop is like a marble effect with a beveled edge and then you've got gas hob with five log <laughs> log burners five burners on it which is great for anyone who likes to cook because there's a large one in the middle and then you've got the splash back there and then you've got your extract fan above which is touchscreen which looks very very high tech doesn't it right so you've got your banker sockets over there and that's great for isolating the appliances in case if you want to maintain any of them you can just switch it off which is great and then you've got your cutlery drawer additional storage underneath underneath the hob dishwashers over here I'll just show you that really quickly and then i love the fabricated grooves into the worktop and then the sink happens to be one and a half ball and the tap by frank which is a reputable designer just showing you the storage here and then the boiler is a logic combi esp135 great and guys i really like the chrome face plates in this room as well again i'm just opening some more drawers and cupboards just to show you there was an appliance in there washing machine and there is a window and it's not right next to the sink like we normally like it however it's pretty close enough that you can just look to the right and really look into the garden you know if it was me i'm just tempted to just kind of continue that kitchen all the way around really um but yeah it's worth something it's worth asking or looking into whether you can extend that kitchen if you do want to do that now that we're on the landing let's go into oh yeah i wanted to mention before we go there's a window here that's always good to bring light into this kind of core of the home right the room that we're going to go into is a single bedroom well it's staged as a single it could be an office it could be a cinema room a playroom a nursery it's got a large double wardrobe i'm just sliding that now so with it having a double wardrobe it's definitely a room someone a, a, a someone a child or a guest can grow into most likely it's going to be a children's um, bedroom and then the next room is this one which is a spacious double double bedroom i think at the moment it's got a king size bed in it um, and it's got space either side with bedside tables we've got a window facing the rear garden and space at the foot of the bed for a little desk and wardrobe right next room but let's go into this room this is our family bathroom and as you can see it is really beautifully tied it's got a kind of a rusty kind of reddish vein that goes all the way through all the tiling and you know it is pretty striking but quite subtle i think it's coming across quite subtle on the camera but it really does make an impact you've got your shower over bath your toilet your sink and a window i absolutely love a window in a bathroom and then this room the primary bedroom space for a king size bed and then you come in and then you've got space at the foot of the bed you've got bedside tables either side and then you've got a view facing the front of the property and then opposite the bed you've got this lovely credenza with artwork on top it's up to you you could put a tv there if you're a tv watcher or remove it all together and extend the wardrobes all the way to the end of the room really maximizing storage space and then let's look at this room this is an ensuite and it's a fantastic fantastic add-on to have an ensuite to a primary bedroom it's um got a three-piece suite it's got a toilet over there a sink and a shower at the end and a window behind the toilet it's very practical it's not a huge size but i think they've done an absolute fantastic job in terms of using the space available there and i think anyone who has an ensuite added on to their property in the primary bedroom is going to benefit from having this rather than just having a bigger room uh, or having to go and use the family bathroom so yeah i'm just talking about the tiling here and the chrome tower rail and yes thank you so much for 
touring this property with us so far. It's been really good having you watch through this voiceover tour, just slightly different from what we're used to doing. If you really like this, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe so you get notified in our next video. Bye!